1840s when Wilmington College's Agriculture Department was founded. Nearly every agriculture school in the nation was part of a large public university. This because in the late 1800s, the federal government encouraged the creation of colleges that would focus on agriculture, science, engineering, and military science. By granting land for the support of those schools to the states that would establish them. And so the schools were established. But all male students at these land grant schools could be required to participate in military training. If you were unwilling to participate in military drills, you might not be allowed to attend the school. This was an obstacle for the members of the peace churches, the Quakers, Brethren, and Mennonites who wanted to receive advanced agricultural training. And it was an obstacle for a young Quaker from Kansas named Shepherd Arthur Watson when he wanted to study agriculture at Kansas State Agricultural College during the years of the First World War. So when Arthur Watson became president of Wilmington College in 1940, he carried with him the idea of establishing an agriculture department at a private Quaker college. So did Wilmington student Roy Joe Stuckey, who wanted agriculture to be part of what he studied as he attended Wilmington. When Stuckey saw an ad in the paper for an auction of land that bordered the college, he approached Arthur Watson the president of Wilmington College, with the idea that the school purchase the property and begin teaching courses in agriculture. Watson agreed, the land was purchased, and Roy Joe Stuckey became Wilmington's first agriculture student, farm manager, and eventually Wilmington's first agriculture professor. Wilmington College Ag students would not be required to participate in military training, but they could also experience all the other benefits of a Wilmington education, especially the individual attention that Wilmington has always offered. Personal attention from teachers who could know each student's name and interests and who were genuinely concerned that each student develop and succeed. Military training is no longer required at public universities. Agriculture at Wilmington College remains, as it's always been, individualized, practical, and hands-on. Wilmington is the only Quaker college and one of only two dozen private colleges in the United States that offers a bachelor's degree in agriculture. The program emphasizes learning by doing. There are 260 acres of crop and animal production on the academic farm, and concentrations in agricultural business, agronomy and agricultural education, with minors in sustainable agriculture and equine science. With new emphases on local production, community gardening, and sustainability, in addition to a long-standing concern for agriculture's role in a global economy, the agriculture program continues to be vital in building the Quaker character of Wilmington College.